Hello and welcome back to another episode of Farm and Life at La Forge. On this week's episode we'll be showing you a lot about the forts and major here behind me. We've been using it a lot this week so um, one of the fields where we sold the whole crop we have to go pick a few rocks so that it doesn't damage any of the mowers or tractors when it comes time to cut. Um, then we have let our cattle out in the fields so we'll show you a few clips around that and we will be bringing the um, trot that dad showed you last time so the creep feeder out one of the fields and so we'll show you how he puts it all together out in the field and after that we'll be showing you the Ford St. Major again with the we have a very old um, hay baler on the back so it's a small square baler it's quite vintage and yeah that's going back to Ireland so we're just going to show you guys a quick clip of it working we'll put a bit of hay out in the field and get it in action see it working before it goes and yeah be a nice little video for you as well so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Tricky cow and uh, wheat, and there is Italian rye grass there. The grass is down lower, so it's not bad. What's that? Two foot? I don't know, it's about uh, six inches. Now, there is a few bare spots, but um, hopefully, we'll get rain this week and it will be up there.
Laura. Okay, here's another one of our classic or vintage trackers. Super major. Uh, one thing I'd never say, said I'd do was to buy a tractor that someone had half was half at. But the guy that we buy the diesel for the tractors off, he uh, he loves vintage tractors and whatnot. And uh, well, he's more into MG cars and motorbikes so he's always here looking at the tractors and he's always telling me where this tractors parked and this and that and um, so he told me of this guy that uh, bought this major and for some reason didn't want to do it so sometimes I'd be wary as there'd be a major problem with it or sometimes some lads will be at these things and they don't have a clue. So, uh, he got the bonnet resprayed and they did a good job. So, I had to put the two front grills in it here and the lights. I have the tires, the original tires, or not the original tires, I have the proper tractor tires for it. Now, she's the very last of the Super Major because the last of them had the normal steel wheels all the other ones have big cast iron wheels uh, she's not the very last she's the last model she's not the very last one of them. so uh, that's her she is fairly original she works perfect um, we had her picking stones that's uh, an old French transport box it just picks up with the nine hole bar very handy for changing uh, Laura, well, we were picking stones while they're off the cord and like that, we don't do that much with these tractors. It wants two back tires, uh, but they'll do the, the burst. The, the, the mud guards, he got them sprayed as well, but they shouldn't be uh, white, they should be green. Kind of a, um, a grey white, but they'll stay like that for a while. Hope to do the wheels now shortly and the tires. Uh, it's going uh, next week now. It's going on the the grass harrows. Uh, here's the prairie they call it over here. I'll show you that. So I have a few more bits here of that fruit. I have the proper yeah the proper tail lights are there for it. Yeah. Have the proper tail lights there to go on and a few bits and pieces like that. Uh, she's on the button. She came like that. I had to put that someone had the, the wrong manifold on it, so it's got that in the exhaust on it. And yeah, there is a few other bits and pieces. Uh what else did I do? Uh, oh yeah, I put the I put in the gauges dash there so I have a new sticker there for the gears uh, whoever spread the bonnet did a very good job on it so the wording wasn't in too bad a shape just to uh, straighten it out and uh, season all lift everything works uh, I'm missing the swing and drawbar I'm looking for that but you can't go into scrap yards now to, with this COVID um, so when they reopen I'll uh, see can I get a proper hitch for it <laughs> other than that now it's a nice tractor as well uh, did lots of dim engines their divils were going porous lucky you know she's not porous but they had the proper additive in it yeah it charges everything so, like I said, I have the two new tires just to put them on. And uh, I think that's all I have to do with it. 
you see her running out picking the stones and to have a I have the guard for that there but I never got to put it on normally from now on I usually work on these tractors uh, after dinner on a Sunday till we start at the hay or whatever so from now on I'll be going back at these uh, scranting a, want a bit of a break and just dedicate a small bit of time to these things especially since lockdown came you're kind of going from one day to the other and you nearly forget what day of the week was because Sunday is not hunting there's nowhere to go or anything so you're kind of just staying at the same thing the whole time Okay, so with this fine weather, we have got a lot of our cattle now gone outside. So I'm just going to show you here some of our freshly calved cows. In the field we call it the triangle, because it's a triangle. That's them there, they're all running back to the calves. I'm not gonna go in with them because they are freshly calved, but yeah, so they are here in this backfield. There's a Belgian blue off back there, but you more than likely can't see them. We have a few cows left to calve now, thankfully, and we actually have weaned off um, a lot of the calves or winds. Oh, that was a bit of a noisy, noisy process. But, so the cows that are freshly weaned, they're out here in the field that we call the field because before it was a field, it was actually a wood. Hi kitten. I just found a wild cat. So I'm now going to leave. There we are. So we'll show you in one of the next videos um, the wanelands now that they're waned off. So one of these days I should be moving my calves that I bought a few months ago in with the wanelands and when I do that then we'll talk to you a little bit about them. But you've seen them when they were getting their vaccination. They've now gotten their second vaccination, their booster. And yeah.
a pit. too much for a day or two until they get the cows get used to it. So there they are all coming down now. Uh, hay baler, so a small square baler that we're going to be trying out on the back of the major. So the baler is actually sold to a guy in Ireland, and we're just going to test it out now. Do a quick video on it for you guys uh, before it goes off. So yeah, Dad has just put out a row of hay with the uh, unwinder on the back at 740, and now he's going to come around in the super major to try and bail it up and hopefully we'll get some small square bales out of it. Okay, this is a, an old uh, a Riviera or something better. Riviera Casali. Yeah, uh, it's going back to Ireland, to Wexford. Uh, a fella called Tony has a boat. Uh, it does make, it doesn't make your normal square bells, but it makes them. Uh, they were mainly over here for just feeding a pony or a rabbit. It bailed out and I want to bail this. It just really bundles it up more so than bailing it. It works well. There's a stationary engine for it as well, but the stationary engine is not working. Um, what do you call it? It's very well made. It's a nice, well old, nice uh, 
machine to look at and see it working. We just put it working here before it goes. It's going uh, in the next week, along with a couple of more machines back here. Uh, someone put it that uh, it'll work on the tractor as well. I'm going to send back the old engine with it, but I don't think uh, it's workable. This is the second bailer we sent back. The other one had an engine on it. I uh, went to, to Moore in that loan. Uh, it was a McCormick. It uh, was a very good machine. I'll show you the twine here on this. And hang on, wait for the winter pass. And the winter pass. <laughs> this is the, the old twine and all with it. And uh, the six or seven spare balls with it. So he'll be able to make lots of. You know, uh, hopefully he'll be able to use it this year. He plans to do it in um, on vintage rallies. He has a particular vintage tractor. And uh, hopefully uh, it's still working for him. There's bail on there, mid. One, two, three, four bales. So, okay, as I said, they were designed, I think, just for uh, these small old birds years ago, for uh, just bringing in a bundle of hay for horses or one or two cows, the way it was done years ago. Uh, the guy that we got it off, he finished up, uh, um, he was feeding rabbits. They all fattened rabbits over here and he had a pony. So he was finishing up. So hopefully in a couple of years time, he's selling, he has a spotless four 3000. Uh, never seen a 3000 clean in all my life. Look at the baler, uh, his father bought that baler new, he told me, and it's actually absolutely perfect. I have to look at it to see how old it is, but I'd say it's older than I am. And uh, it's just a simple old machine, it's all there. Now, the last lad that bought the other um, baler, he told me that you can work these off a trasher as well. I don't know, I never worked a trasher. But uh, all this works here, lifts up and down the, the pickup, no bother. And uh, the two adjusters at the back for adjusting the, the tension of the bale, they're seized. I'm not going to bother freeing them out. Um, so that's it, she, hopefully the next time you'll see her being loaded up in the lorry, along with a hay turner and a plough, and uh, it'll be going back to Ireland. So uh, this is the, I told you before about the major. So I still have a few bits of work to do with it. And uh, hopefully we'll get the back wheels done this year. There's no oil leaks. Mechanically perfect, the work is perfect. And uh, just a few bits of uh, cosmetic work really. And a few guards. I have all the pieces bought for it that I have to put on. The original tail lights, I got them for it. So uh, she'll be finished. Plus uh, we have another tractor coming as well. Uh, so we'll tell you about that hopefully in the weekend. Uh, it's just to kind of hit on it. Uh, we haven't planned to buy it. So I'll probably hang on to the next one for a bit till I can't keep all these tractors. I'd love to, but I don't want to. Or I can't really. So that'll do. Over and out. So what have we had here at all? Eh? What have we had with our big old bulbs? This one has cold feet. That'd be a cold feet. Yeah. Uh, as I said before, I'm missing the swing and drawbar for it. And I was trying over here. If anyone has one thrown in the shed, I would be interested in buying it.
gets a bear in the field. So first bear med goes to Celtic. Huh? So that's that for this week's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.